I'm gonna show you guys how to make quick pickled beets. This is a great recipe. Uh, these are delicious. You can use red beets, you can use golden beets. I actually prefer golden beets the best, but I'll show you guys in this video how to do it. It's super fun and easy. I hope you guys enjoy it. Stay tuned guys, you do not wanna miss this. All right, guys, the first thing you're gonna do here is you're gonna put on rubber gloves because the red will stain your fingers. Go ahead and cut off the ends of the beet, take a peeler, and then after that, you guys, really easy, go ahead and try to make them all the same size. So that's the biggest one right there. We're gonna cut it in half. Knife could be a little bit sharper. And now we have pretty much even sizes throughout the whole entire process. So go ahead and get yourself some aluminum foil. We're gonna get two pieces actually, identical. Place them down. I have a little visitor in the kitchen. That's Patrick, look how cute he is. So go ahead and drizzle some olive oil, you guys. Some salt, some pepper. And then go ahead and cover it. And we're gonna start on one side, start rolling it up, rotate it around. Again, we're just making a nice little pocket for that thing to nice do a nice little steam. We're also gonna make it small enough so that it can actually fit on a sheet tray. But once it's done like that, we're good to go. Go ahead and set the oven to 450. This is my new little Brevel uh, kitchen top oven. Love it. Put it on the rack, set it and forget it. Now, while we're gonna do that, and while that's roasting, we're gonna go ahead and start preparing this. This is two cups water with two cups of white vinegar. So we're gonna go ahead and get that on the boil. Be careful not to spill it. So we're gonna do two third cups sugar. This is salt and about 12 peppercorns. So get that thing whacked up, dissolve the sugar, get to an actual boil. We're gonna go ahead and turn it off and get it ready for our beets once they're fully roasted. So I like to cover it just cause it smells pretty bad. So right here, these are the beets, they're all done. They've been roasting for about an hour and a half until they're knife tender. Go ahead and slice them up to the thicknesses that you want. So this will be the prepared version. Put it into the jar, nice and easy. And then you wanna go ahead and pour the hot liquid over. And it's gonna help cook it a little bit, but it's more of penetrating the vinegar into the beets. So go ahead and cap it off. And you guys, that is absolute money, right? And you can put in the refrigerator. It'll keep for like two to three weeks. And you can put them on your salads. You can put them on your sandwiches. I've also done golden beets and those are awesome too.